Hello, good evening and welcome. The 11th uh, ICC Cricket World Cup 2015 on to the 22nd day, match number 32 and uh, Pool A's 16th match. That's what uh, we want to talk about. Welcome to the World Cup uh, News Breakdown. It's the www.thepapare.com. The uh, unsurpassed uh, Papare content is the best in uh, Sri Lanka. Sharing the passion with you, uh, together with me today is uh, Administrator, Commentator Roshan Abesinga and uh, with his World Cup experience and uh, a load of uh, information, that's uh, Jehan Mubarak. Uh, welcome gentlemen. Thank you. Hartu. Important game, uh, much hyped up, um, fantastic sellout crowd at uh, Sydney and um, losing the toss would have probably made any difference. I am not very sure whether the toss was a factor at all because uh, if you look at the pitch where everybody felt that the pitch will slow down was quite to the contrary. I mean, uh, you had uh, near 700 runs in a day, so you can't fall the pitch at all and you, ca you couldn't have possibly, uh, you know, thought that the toss played any role. I felt that uh, it was a blunder on the part of the Sri Lankan team uh, and how they selected their side and, and the approach to the game, uh, I feel that was the mistake. Sri Lanka was definitely a bowler short, a batsman too many and as a result of it, uh, Sri Lanka had to pay a price. Uh, by losing uh, the game by 64 runs. You go with that, Jan? Yeah, given the selection that or the side that Sri Lanka decided to play, I think they would have been happy to chase because we were playing a bowler shot. And uh, in, it'll be very hard to defend against an Australian team without uh, a spe extra specialist bowler. Uh, and I think if Andrew had won the toss, he also would have uh, probably opted to bowl first and uh, backed our batsman to chase. But I. 370 is uh, too much. It was a great game of cricket. I'm sure all the people who turned up to watch it were uh, treated to an excellent game of cricket. But uh, in the end, 370 was too much. Uh, but you know, we did see uh, middle order coming into the game. Uh, Tisara Pereira getting a hit, Dinesh Chandimal getting a hit. Uh, so you know, there are lots of positives that we can take from this game. A lot of people will think that uh, Sri Lanka actually lost the match uh, because uh, at one stage uh, there was uh, a situation where Australia could have been roped in with that extra bowler. We had been discussing this about uh, the spinners being there. Uh, Sri Lanka went in with three changes and all three of them were playing in their first uh, World Cup match. And how big is that without um, Dinesh Chandimal getting a hit uh, uh, in the previous matches also. Um, I thought uh, the, the uh, firepower option of uh, Australia simply was too much uh, for the Sri Lankans in the end. In, in terms of bowling, you mean? Yeah, in, in terms of bowling. Well, okay. uh, to a point you're right, but uh, Australia, they had only one standout bowler, that was Stark. And if you, if you were able to look after yourself against Stark, you could have uh, enjoyed yourself against the rest of the bowling. I mean, if you look at the bowling figures, if you look at the way runs were leaked, even Mitchell Johnson, well, he had his moments, but the Sri Lankan batsman did get runs. I, I think James Faulkner made a huge difference. Faulkner made a big difference. He did, he did. But he also went in, for runs. He, yeah, but he, they had the luxury of having 370. And we knew that we almost had to hit a boundary every other ball, almost. So, uh, we couldn't wait for the loose ball to come. We had to force the issue, force the issue, force the issue all the time. Take runs that were not there, uh, sneak a single here and there, which ultimately led to Mahela's uh, run out. Andrew almost uh, ran himself out as well. Uh, you know, uh, Michael Clark again, if that had hit the stumps, yeah, Angelo would have strong. been out. Um, so, I think when we talk about bowling, we also have to talk about the runs on the board. It makes a di huge difference to what the bowling attack looks so like. So, we'll, we'll, we'll start uh, working on uh, the runs on the board for Australia. I mean, uh, you, you expect uh, Stephen Smith and uh, um, Michael Clark to come to the party. Uh, it's their home ground. They batted well, but once they were dismissed at uh, 177 for 4, what would have Sri Lanka done different? Well, no, no, uh, not to let just uh, Glenn Maxwell uh, they, get about his job. They had only one option: Nothing get much, wickets. Honest, yeah. Get wickets. So who who was the wicket-taking option? They they had to use Marlinga at the start. They had to use Marlinga in the power, power play. play. They had to use Marlinga in the depth. So there is very little Asit Marlinga could do. So they had no other bowler. So this is why I say that the Sri Lankan selection was wrong. They needed another bowler who could have got wickets. And sadly, as you correctly said at the introduction, Sri Kuge Prasanna hadn't played a game. Uh, Sena Nayaka to me seems, yeah, we'll come to Sena Nayaka, yeah, seems rusty and 
sadly off colour and I wonder whether this is the same bowler we saw against England or before. This is not about skill, it's about confidence, isn't it? It's, it's about skill, skill and confidence. So, Sachitra has remodeled his action. So, when we talk about skill, a player who has been practicing this art for a long period of time has mastered that skill. Sachitra now has remodeled his action. So, he has been working on this action for six months maybe. So, I, I mean, there are certain aspects of it which he still needs to master is what I think. So, that's why he's not as effective as he used to be. So, basically what's happening is that uh, this team selection is uh, playing on uh, the uh, playing ability of uh, the Sri Lankan team. Sri Lanka's uh, spin uh, advisor or coach uh, PR Vijaytung is there. How much of input does he put in uh, to get uh, Sachitra Senanayaka into the playing eleven? Well, the input will be there, but again, it's just a matter of repetition. It's not something you can rectify overnight. I mean, you have a guy who's been, or anybody for that matter, who's played four or five years of good international cricket, and then you've suddenly gone back, changed your action, and you're playing in a World Cup. Uh, whatever you do, there are certain, you know, we talk about uh, repetition, 1000 reps uh, of something for it to become muscle memory, uh, 10,000 reps for you to perfect it. And those are targets that we set ourselves as batsmen, as bowlers. So, even for Satri to clock in those 1000 hours, 1000 reps, it takes time. <coughs> what, what makes it different then, now we discuss this so openly, what makes it different then for the Sri Lankan uh, team management and the uh, tour selectors to get uh, Sinanayake into this playing eleven. No, that I think is the problem because but he uh, can play, but we can't look at him as a wicket taking option. option. That's the. I mean, he can play in the eleven certainly, and we can use him if there are left-handers in the opposition. We can use him as a containing bowler to try and restrict the best and maybe use him in the power plays. But we don't have a wicket taking option, which is uh, the problem. No, and also, if you look at Sachitra, I mean, you need to go back to the way he bowled before. Uh, one one glaring issue is the speed he bowls. You see, he used to be much quicker those days, and he used to regularly hit the batsman's pad, and that's the way he used to dismiss batsman. But now he's got more sideways, and he's looping it a little bit more. And but he's not getting the same amount of purchase and the same amount. I don't know whether his arm speed has dropped. I really don't know. But he's okay. definitely dropped a little bit in pace, and that is allowing the batsman. Formally, if you watch him. I have watched him closely. You, he doesn't. One, one of his strengths are that he doesn't allow the batsman to get to him. But now you could have seen how the batsman get to him. They just keep working him. You know, just 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 keep hitting him all over the place, which is a sad thing. Yeah. Okay. Send in your tributes to the two legends, uh, Sangha and Mahela, to the um, pages, and then uh, you can really share your thoughts and uh, Kumar Sangha today. Uh, rewrote uh, ICC Cricket World Cup uh, history with his third consecutive 100. I mean, you can't uh, uh, ask for more. Your first ever 100 at uh, the MCG followed by your fastest one-day 100 and then cap it all with a third 100 against uh, the feared bowling attack of uh, uh, Australia. Of course, um, he had his problems, uh, especially against uh, Mitchell Stark. Mm -hmm. But, um, mm -hmm. I mean, how can you value this? Or where do you want to read this, uh, Roshan? Well, it would have had great value, you know, had Sri Lanka won the match. You know, and if we were chasing around 330, this would have been an ideal... I think Sangha would have seen us through if through we were chasing 330. 330, and also it would have been the ideal team. launching pad, you know. You couldn't have had a better, better base for Sri Lanka to chase. But the issue with Sangakkara was, I think Sri Lanka needed him to bat. Yes, that's true. But if he was batting, the other batsman there had to score at better than a runner ball. Now, that was one of the problems that uh, Sri Lanka had with Dilshan there. Yeah. They were going at better than a runner ball. But as soon as Dilshan got out, Mahila Javadana came in and then they got this batting power play and Stark bowled a brilliant over. And that I thought really unsettled Mahila. Yeah, and we, I mean, talk about one, I, one uh, school of thought behind the extra batsman is that the batsman at the top have can play with the freedom because th we know that there is a batsman to come. But that didn't happen. I mean, Sangha and Mahela were seemed to be concerned uh, about the batting and they wanted to finish the job themselves, which I think is the right option and what they did was correct. Uh, but, you know, uh, Sangha took some time to let Mahela settle down and uh, Mitchell Stark bowled a very good uh, spell at that point. So, uh, the extra batsman option, I don't think, you know, really is uh, making a difference to our top order's approach to the game. 
and if that is not the case then i think we need to move away from that option i'm quite happy for satitra to play as long as uh, there is another wicket taking option either rangan hera if he is fit or dushmanta chamira uh, uh, can come in there why not today dushmanta chamira give at 140 you maybe think uh, glen maxwell would have uh, handled uh, him uh, possible but maybe not maybe not on that pitch they would have thought it's a slow pitch and gone for there Uh, but still they played only one fast bowler which i think was a mistake i mean thisara perera had to bowl in the death dilshan had to bowl the 50th over we didn't have a uh, sorry angelo had to bowl the 50th over we didn't have a bowler to bowl the 50th over andrew was uh, struggling for options right throughout uh, the sri lankan bowling innings uh, because he had only one fast bowler he could uh, throw the ball to you know papare is unsurpassed in uh, sports contact and uh, this is sharing the passion with you it's the world cup news breakdown you're with and um, looking back at uh, that particular over from uh, michel johnson six fours something to cheer about yeah it was i think that's really what um, released the pressure because if you remember tirimana got a brute as he went in and he was out caught and then johnson was threatening to run run havoc with with the sri lankan batting he was really bending his back and running in hard and bowling fast and just to find somebody like dilshan taking him on and hitting six fours just release the valve it just just release the pressure and that really was uh, to a point uh, the factor that allowed sangakkara also to settle down because you would have seen sangakkara little bit unsettled by the short ball he played a pull shot that wasn't in control so but dilshan got into the act and then sanga just became so smooth and and the partnership blossomed and you know th- this uh, glen maxwell inning um brought back uh, into the middle order and uh, into the game uh, Shane Watson hmm. and that little cameo from Brad Hadin yeah. could have could have happened to any bowler you think could have happened to any bowler uh, but unfortunately we had only one bowler whom we could have bowled in that situation so and the i think the australian batsmen knew that they knew that we were a bowler short so they played out lasit malinga they knew the bowlers whom they could target moment dilshan came on Maxwell had just lost Steven Smith at the other end uh, to a similar shot where he tried to hit him over mid off and was caught very well by Tisara Pereira uh, but Maxwell hit him down the ground over mid off for six and uh, two fours uh, and they were targeting uh, a part time as deal chance and forced uh, Angelo to bring on Tisara early uh, much earlier than he would have liked to Tisara went for runs as well uh, but you know Maxwell's kind of winnings is what we have come to expect in this world cup every team has a player like that you have your abd villiers you have your uh you have your maxwell you have maybe your under russell or chris gale uh, in the west indian Faulkner. team faulkner who can come in uh, for australia india have about three or four batsmen who can do that so uh, it's something that we have to be prepared to combat which i don't think we are one other one sorry had the one other thing that uh, i i believe the sri lankans missed out jahan was with all the technological input they have uh, watching the game today one thing that uh, even the commentators mentioned where they were analyzing the batsman's strength and the weakness and one area particularly steve smith when when they were when they were bowling to him one area that they wanted the bowlers to bowl was wider the off stump yeah. but if you looked at the lines that the bowlers bowled to him and his strike points the bowlers were bowling so straight to him which allowed him to just keep milking the ball from outside the off stump through mid wicket through mid on steve smith was one example now i'm sure that there were areas that our, our bowlers should have looked at which for some reason either the pressure the onslaught or or the situation that got the better of them just just made them uh, play into the batsman's hand you know on paper there was angelo matthews tisara perera and siku ge prasanna all rounders yes it didn't happen it didn't work this uh, siku bowled well his first well but he wasn't um, you know getting enough purchases off the wicket uh, to trouble the batsman uh, he bowled his first first seven, seven, first seven he bowled well he bowled tight 27 and 1 yes he bowled well it's the last, last three, three went for runs once he once the batsman start going hard at him uh, he struggled to take pace off the ball and he just gave more pace on it it was coming on almost like you know on a straight line you tell me um, that the captain couldn't give this advice to him or that uh, it was the confidence uh, level of I the bowler who is not the kind of bowler who takes pace off the ball 
he it's not he 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 is very much you know will bowl wicket to wicket uh, straight stuff his his getaway option is to try and bowl block hole uh, okay. whether he bowls whether it's straight block hole or wide yorkers that is his uh, getaway strategy which he didn't do and he didn't try to do that so that is one thing that uh, our uh, coaching staff and the team need to sit down are uh, death bowling and yorkers whether you are a spin bowler or a fast bowler that is why mitchell stark is so successful is because of his length that he bowls it's very full it's uh, very straight and also he gives the b- uh, ball some chance to reverse he was getting a lot of uh, swing back into the left handers surely john uh, at 150 uh, there is no bowler who can match stark uh, in the sri lankan uh, lineup uh, I, i don't think uh, even dushman the chamira can get there no it would have been tough it would have been tough but it's something that we can pl- plan and try out surangal akmal dushman the chamira have the ability to bowl yorkers it's just a matter of uh, you know uh, fine tuning it doing repetitions lasit i thought bowled well today uh, he think was he's getting that rhythm he's getting he's getting he's a little bit of reverse back yeah. in as well so he's getting there he's lacks a bit of pace uh, his bounce is not as effective as it used to be so the batsmen are camped out on the front foot a little bit more Uh, but i think he is getting there uh, i you know feel that once rangan is back in our attack will look uh, a little bit more threatening threatening and more balanced is and definitely right? more balanced okay when they got to 376 fine but at one stage uh, there was uh, a situation where sri lanka had to get uh, 10 runs and over mm. o- over the last 10 mm. six wickets in hand mm. and on paper they were batting strength um but that run out of uh, mahila jawadan i thought that was needless it was but it was a com- it was a bit, little bit of the pressure because Ma- stark was bowling really well in that spell uh, i think sangat they took the power play on at that time to get the australian key bowlers stark maybe faulkner and johnson nothing wrong bowl. with that i didn't think that's that was perfect but they did to get them to bowl early so that they can target uh, the bowlers later on but unfortunately the pressure told and uh, run really not on there okay the last ball of the power play session sangakkara hits up well so uh, well i i i think i honestly felt that at that point it was a blessing because sangakkara looked tired and and they needed fresh legs they needed somebody who could who could come in and and the target to aim at a 200 or whatever the score i think he got out at what no, there was about 150 100, 150 runs or close to that was too much for sangakkara at that you 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 needed fresh legs he, he looked tired that was a tired shot and and, and he got out uh, because he's done his job he, he created the right base and angelo matthews was uh, reasonably well set and i felt had sang had uh, uh, chandimal not got this cramp or, or the hamstring sri lanka would have got very very close yeah. and possibly who knows sri lanka would have won the game yeah they they, they jolted uh, australia Uh, uh, to, for a Definitely. length of time they were going yeah, after no watson they were going after watson yeah there was no questions about that this injury to i mean good that he got amongst the runs uh, i think he was given the license to play um, there was uh, a small uh, uh, period where he was talking to uh, matthews and the body mm. language said okay you can go after the bowling he did exactly that it was made a good some thing. it was yeah. a good thing to give him yeah. that uh, yeah, I license think, i think i'm i'm very glad with that but let's talk about this injury He had batted for something like 25 or maybe mm. 30 balls. 22 balls. Oh, what, whatever. Fine. Yeah. How he got to the 50s? Uh, you, you think he was not prepared uh, in his body? It, it's it's his uh, I think duty to. I, I to think it happened on. He he played a shot off. I think it was Johnson. I'm Johnson. not sure. He got an edge he that went down to third shot, man yeah. for four. Yeah, two. I, I think for it was two. two. And they when he uh, came back for the second round. And he got into a sort of awkward, like his body was in one direction and he had to rotate against it. I think that is what happened. It was not a. fitness issue it was not him running too many singles or anything like that i think uh, his body got caught in an awkward position i think that's what happened uh, and thereafter he was struggling and uh, you could see but he walked off i mean once he decided he can't continue he walked off okay he seemed i mean gen- hamstring injuries you see guys carried off on a stretcher or even being helped off the field by the reserves Uh, but he was comfortable enough to walk off so hopefully it's nothing too Major. serious and that uh, he will be available even not for the scotland game for the uh, quarter final okay let's uh, say good good show good start another 300 against australia few people can few teams can afford mm-hmm. that even after conceding 376 runs um scotland next um, 
you want to see these uh, three players who are into the side uh, still there? No, we, we will assume that uh, Chandimal is not playing uh, for precaution I, I reasons. I would still want to have uh, Sri Lanka's lineup. Well, if, if Chandimal is not playing, then they got to look at an option. But I would want to play, or I would like to see the team that they're going to play in the quarterfinals. That, that's the team they need to play, and, and that team needs to include another frontline bowler who can get you wickets. You can't depend on one bowler because Haritha, look at the other side of the coin. Had Australia won the toss and put Sri Lanka into bat with eight batsmen, what would have been the situation? We would have been happy with 300, 320. Exactly. We would have, um, we wouldn't have known how much yeah. to get, yeah. and we would have been very happy, and only to find our lack of bowling being exposed. Okay, now talking about that, uh, assuming that uh, Chandimal is available for the um, quarter final together mm -hmm. with Rangan Herat, what's your lineup? You like to discuss depends, that? depends on the pitch. Where no, are I we mean, playing? We are, we are, play, play? we are playing we're at Sydney. We are probably playing at Sydney. Sydney. We are playing at Sydney. So, pro well, I, 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 would, I have no problem with the two spinners. Uh, Rangan Herat will not play because he'll have to recover. But uh, No, no, I'm talking quarter about final. the quarter final. Ah, are you talking about the quarter final? Yeah. Well, if Rangan Herat is available, Definitely, he has to play. No, we'll assume that he is available together with Dinesh Chandimal. Well, Chandimal will bat at six. You'll have to play Tisara uh, as, as, as an all-round option at seven. Then uh, you have four bowlers you've got to go with. Out of the four, I would select, uh, obviously, Marling and Herat will select themselves. And uh, I, I, I'll, I'll want to play Dushmant Chamira. Definitely, as a surprise. I want to play him. Yeah, <laughs> as a surprise packer because no, he, he has played only two games, two international games. I don't think that uh, opposing teams will have too much of uh, info information on, on Dushmanta Chamira. So Good point. Now, if Dushmanta Chamira has to play on our cards uh, in that quarter final, he has to find a place uh, against Scotland. Yes, yeah, so definitely. He can easily find a place. We don't Scotland. need, uh, as I said, as uh, we've been saying right along, yeah. uh, don't, uh, we were chasing 370. And still, Upul walked into bat in the 43rd or 44th oh, over only exactly. because Chandimal uh, couldn't continue. Yeah. And in chasing 370, our seventh batsman comes in at the 44th over. Seven specialist. Seven specialist batsman. It's it's an unnecessary luxury. Yeah. Uh, where our bowling is heavily compromised because of it. So, uh, you know, I don't think we need Upul in there. But for Scotland, if Dinesh Chandimal is not available, Sri Lanka will need to make a call to see if he is fit for the quarter final or not. Mm. Because if he is not fit for the quarter final, they might need to look at replacing him. This is big. The selection panel have all played very good uh, one day cricket, uh, many World Cups uh, together, and they know what this is all about. There's the chairman of selectors there. Is it his uh, only concern that uh, he should make there? Or he, he has to consult uh, the locals here or, or the other members here and, and this is a collective decision? Well, when it comes to a replacement, I think they, 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 have, they, they discuss among themselves mm. and they, they, they make a choice, they, they make a recommendation and I believe for courtesy sake, they just uh, run it past the rest of the selectors. But when, when they decide with the chairman of selectors there, I believe generally that, that yeah. decision stays. Okay. So, let's go with the chairman of selectors yeah. now. Sanat Jayasurya is there, he knows what he knows what World Cup cricket is. We are coming into the business end. Yes. You can't take Scotland lightly. Not that they will make 450 runs against us. But uh, Sri Lanka will have to play that match very well. Probably look at another 350 plus total. Should they bat first or should they go to an option where um, they will bowl first? Any event, any, any, huh? event, any event, Jehan, it, it looks quite straightforward. We just need to win because we'll be third in yeah. this group. Because uh, Australia, in all likelihood, will beat Scotland. So, if yes. they beat Scotland, they've got uh, they've beaten us. So, they'll mm -hmm. be second. India will be first. So, whether we get a run rate or otherwise, uh, we will be third. No, wh what's best? Should should we should we bowl first and I mean losing the toss and they depends decide on the, the conditions. Chance. Depends on the condition and the team combinations we play. I mean, yeah. if we are going to stick with the three bowler combination, then we'll bowl first definitely. If you are going to play the extra bowler, you know, we might uh, uh, bat first and, uh, try and, defend, try and the defend the score. Maybe give our batters a bit of a hit, the guys who haven't played, especially if you are looking to uh, that middle order, if Chandi is slot, if Upul is going to come in and play, then give him some time out in the middle. Uh, maybe even send him a head of Angelo uh, to give him some uh, time in the middle, if it's a situation where Chandimal needs to be replaced. Um, Kusal is already there in Australia. Whether they bring Kusal in or whether they bring another middle order batsman from Sri Lanka, I don't know. 
but whoever comes in maybe he needs to get a bit of time out in the middle because it's not easy to walk into a quarter final at a world cup Definitely. straight away tell me tell me the situation at home hobart uh, very briefly uh it will help the seam bowlers a little bit there'll be uh, some lateral movement for the seamers it's not as quick as uh, brisbane or perth uh, it has a little bit of what we call a tennis ball bounce or a spongy bounce uh, so it holds up a bit which will which might suit the scotland bowlers but uh, you know our guys for angelo and tisra actually i think it might suit tisra as well yeah, there is they with the durban river there is uh, so much of very strong breeze that comes into the ground and and it's always moist so the pitch does a little bit all the time at hobart so it it, it is more of a seam bowler's pitch gentlemen thank you very much uh, scotland is up next for the sri lankans after a tough outing against uh, the likes of the australian aggression I think uh, Sri Lanka will be looking at a comprehensive victory and a quarter final berth thereafter. Thank you for joining with us. We were the World Cup news breakdown in uh, www.thepapare.com sharing the passion. Fire up your home or office with ultimate speed. Keep up with the next generation on Dialog 4G. Connect to the fastest network with burst speeds of 40 Mbps. Go 4G with monthly plans starting at just 1,400 rupees. Dialog, the future today.